ground because we're so dry. We continue to look for just a slight possibility of a sprinkle or two, maybe a tenth of an inch if we can get a shower going. But the moisture at the surface is really lacking. You can see what it's doing though with the clouds. You can see Stuart this morning. Beautiful sunrise there with clouds in the background and then more building as we've gone through the last few hours. Beautiful shot there. The breeze will also begin to pick up, especially as we head through the day on Wednesday, noticing that that system will finally exit by late tomorrow. Boom, Appalachian State University, beautiful sunrise there this morning, some pockets of blue skies and then the clouds have really set up too, but we're looking at the ground and just don't see much in the way of moisture on those streets right now. So here's what we're looking at with the water vapor imagery, a little bit of moisture, not what we typically like to see in the magentas and yeah, the deeper blues. That's when we really have a better chance to see some rain out there right now. Our temperatures are at 43 degrees in Sparta. It looks like maybe we could see a snowflake if you're up in the higher elevations, possibly, but most of that's not going to make it to the ground. We are seeing 46 degrees in White Top, 46 in Marion right now, 54 in North Wilkesboro. So very scattered in nature when it comes to any precipitation chances. You certainly will have the clouds beginning to build. So our temperatures are in the low 60s now, and we may hold there as those clouds gradually build from west to east. Brook Cove, you're at 60 degrees, 58 degrees in Capella, 61 Bethania, and we are at 60 degrees in Louisville right now to 62 in Greensboro. We've got to 61 High Point, and we see a lot of the similar temperatures out through Clover Garden near warmer at 63. So that's been about it so far. We've had good sunshine in the eastern tribe. Those clouds are now beginning to build in response to the system disturbance that's moving in aloft. And so not a significant front wiping through and bringing in a warmer air mass. Instead, it'll reinforce that cold air. Winds also will start to pick up. And looking at temperatures now at 60 degrees in Winston-Salem. Breeze is at about 12 miles an hour. May become gusty at times and a slight chance of a passing shower through the overnight hours. And looking at tomorrow morning, we should be pretty dry with 43 degrees. So with a few clouds in the mix and still the system working itself out, we don't expect to see much in the way of terrible cooling tomorrow morning, but that is coming. Some upper 30s in the surrounding areas of the foothills might develop too, but 54 right now, those clouds settling in at best 61 degrees and those rain chances only at 20% for a few hours through early evening. We then look at those temps down to 32 degrees in the mountains. That's where you have a freeze warning there. And we're also watching your temps throughout the day tomorrow. Really Really begin to warm into the upper 50s if we're lucky. Now, one of our forecast models wants to bring in a few more showers for us, but that's just not likely to happen with the amount of dry air that we have in place. Could see a couple of passing showers. If we're lucky to get anything out of this, it would still be under about a tenth of an inch. And so right now we've got pretty quiet conditions in the tropics. We're watching an area east of the Leeward Islands and around town. We just have to enjoy the sunshine and rain chances that remain minimal all the way through next week. We've dropped rain chances through much of next week with temperatures in the 70s returning this weekend. We're looking forward to that.